So my name is Derek Kinney from Sci-Fi. Uh, Arun Thomas, who's the chair of the Electric Committee, could not be here. Uh, Ted Marina uh, of Micro City is the vice chair. Uh, he also could not make it. Um, so I'm doing this on, on their behalf. Um, otherwise, I am just a marketing committee member. You guys can all be marketing committee members. We actually encourage that. Um, so, you know, just take a second, you know, risk fives, modest ambitions is to become the standard ISA for, for all community guys. Clearly, there's a lot of work to do on that, not just on the technical side, uh, but also on the marketing side. Um, so with that, the marketing committee's mission is to grow risk five mind share and grow the risk five community. Um, and this is actually a pretty, pretty broad mission. We can do this in many different ways. Uh, over the last uh, six months or so, I think we've had a lot of marketing committee meetings trying to focus on what areas um, to start with. And it's such a big task. Um, so, uh, in terms of the, the charter, uh, breaking that mission down into uh, tasks, uh, what the market committee is looking at is first, uh, we want to take awareness of risk five um, in industry, uh, in the open community, and in academia. These kind of three separate areas of, of importance. Um, overall, we want to grow the community of risk five users and developers and mercy foundation members. Um, I organize risk five workshops, tutorials, and developer summits. Uh, so of course these are risk five workshops. There's two a year, but there's other events that happen all around the world. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about that um, and, and what the market committee is doing to try to help evangelize risk five uh, as a whole. Um, so that's also coordinating participation between member companies and individuals at industry events, uh, conferences, and retreats. Two pages. Uh, there's also a, a strong desire to create educational material uh, for the industry to use, for students, for researchers, uh, you know, more uh, information about this slide. Uh, maybe, you know, for example, not to the uh, detailed level of, of like a privilege spec, uh, but something that's a, you know, more digestible to a larger audience. Uh, so it's kind of separating out what this is the difference between uh, what the market committee is trying to do and evangelizing this slide. And, and having educational materials versus the actual risk five specs and, and the details that we handle by the technical community. Um, and then of course highlighting uh, risk five happenings on the website, on social media, uh, through official press releases, through all sorts of different means of, of communication. So the marketing committee, so that's, that's the chair, that's the vice chair, uh, that's their contact information. Um, so in terms of updates, um, this was kind of one ask, very ask thing. Uh, so uh, the Risk 5 store is up. Uh, so you can go to store.risk5.org. Um, and actually this is the initial, I think there's four items. Uh, five if you count two colors of t-shirts. Um, we're gonna add more things over time. So you guys can all get Risk 5 shirts and, and look like Dave Patterson. <laughs> See, you can do that too. Um, more items are coming. Uh, now this is, this is not, a profit center for the foundation. Right, so this is intended to make it available so people can get it. Uh, the price we charge is basically to cover the cost for the foundation and make sure the foundation is not losing any money on this. Right, so this is really a community-driven event. Um, but uh, you know, uh, pedal mug is very nice. So uh, I'm going to talk about the different uh, task groups. Uh, so the first is the Risk 5 workshop task group. So I'm the chair of this task group. Um, we're helping to plan the Risk 5 workshops um, and other events, but really to grow the workshop and increase the visibility of it, increase the press coverage. Um, so for example, uh, yesterday at the introductory event, um, that was also a new event that previously did not happen at a workshop before. We were able to invite uh, about 13 local press here. Um, and hopefully we'll get some good uh, coverage locally and in China about this five. Um, but those are the things that, that the workshop task group is doing. And also things like um, getting more uh, kind of outside keynote speakers uh, related to the mission of this five, maybe not a this five uh, member company. So tomorrow, Bunny, Bunny is going to be speaking as keynotes. So that's pretty, pretty exciting. Um, and we're open to ideas on what people want to see from the workshop. Uh, I think over time, uh, we see these workshops growing um, in the formats, uh, maybe expanding. Um, so, open to 
ideas and suggestions. Uh, as Rick mentioned, the next workshop is in Bay Area in November. Uh, the other task, next task group is industry outreach. Um, so this is promoting risk five at industry events. So these are events that are uh, put out by the industry that are not risk five workshop. Uh, oftentimes in these cases, you know, especially now with, with 60 members, we'll usually have at least a few companies going to pretty much most of the major events. Um, so this task group is tasked with working on coordinating um, at those events, should there be a risk five presence. Uh, if there's not a risk five presence, should the member companies kind of work together to have some sort of a joint risk five event, uh, etc. cetera. Um, there's a shared calendar on the Google Doc uh, that has a list of all the events. Um, I will say it's probably a little bit uh, biased right now towards North America and Europe. Um, so definitely we need uh, member contributions, help from other regions to highlight and point out what are important events for this five. Right, so the, the chair of this group is Neil Han from Codisip, who I don't believe is here, and Dimitri from Trinidad. Dimitri is here. All right. Um, so update some of the events we're looking at for later are that in, in Austin, Texas, Hot Chips, uh, and the Lindy Processor Conference. I mean, again, these are all kind of the U.S., so you know, that's just happens to be where the participation is. We need to do more in other regions, so uh, please help uh, the task group with those ideas. Is that the wrong date for that? Uh, Friday states 18 to 622. Yeah. I'm, I'm just a ringer. Right? <laughs> Uh, next task group is the Open Source and University Outreach Task Group. Uh, so this is working to promote risk five to open source, um, the open source community specifically and universities. Uh, so there's a lot of uh, kind of uh, events and talks um, that bring together um, open source folks. Um, so Arun has been going to a lot of these and speaking on behalf of risk five, giving risk five talks um, at, at these events. Um, they will also uh, tracking course Using RISC V, we want to see how many universities are teaching courses with RISC V, uh, kind of tracking that and seeing how that grows, um, as well as all the additional research projects that are happening. Uh, I think one of the things that, that we found interesting is that we come to these workshops and people give talks about research that they're doing with RISC V, and it's actually a very pleasant surprise for, for a bunch of us. Right? So now we have the textbook, uh, so that, that'll help with that. Um, so uh, Arun from BA Systems and Art Swift from Esperanto uh, are the chairs of this task group. Next one is the content task group. Uh, it, it's, the charter seems very short, but this is actually a, a lot of work. Uh, this is actually generating uh, new content for the website, uh, for social media, uh, for press, to educate everybody uh, about things that are going on in the Riverside community. You know, besides the you know, six months when we get together uh, here at the workshops. Uh, so I know one of the things that they're working on is a monthly RISC-5 newsletter, um, where every month they'll kind of uh, publish this newsletter to all the member companies, and here's what's going on in RISC-5. Um, they're actively soliciting uh, information from member companies, and there are things that you want to see, you know, that you want to say, hey, I've been working on this, uh, or I have this update. Uh, please send those over to, to Ted, uh, particularly. Um, and then they're putting it into the uh, uh, monthly newsletter. So Michael Geller from Ant Micro uh, and Ted Marina are chairs, and either of them are here. Either. Um, last task group is the RISC-5 2020 task group. So this is kind of looking uh, farther out in the future. Uh, it's about tracking RISC-5 adoption, considering its uh, future direction, talking to analysts, tracking the ecosystem growth, and really understanding what members need, um, finding key gaps in the ecosystem. One of the, you know, I think that the short-term uh, problems that customers to solve is how do we as a community, as a group, go out and tell people how much this five activity there is, right? And when you're, when you're a company, when you're a single company with a single design, you know, it's easy for ARM to say, hey, we went and we licensed out you know, two billion chips or two billion likes this year, or whatever it is. Um, how do we do that as a, as a risk five community, because it's individual companies uh, with, with individual numbers, uh, we don't have that solved yet, uh, but that's one of the things that the task group is, is thinking about. 
So it's Art and Swift, or Art Swift and Neil Hand. Um, so you'll see here that a lot of the names are on multiple task groups, um, and that's really because I think we need more help um, for all of these groups. Uh, we have people kind of sharing the load, so you see the same names appearing multiple times, um, and that's kind of just due to uh, trying to get started um, but not having enough folks quite yet. Participation side, uh, just like the technical committee, all uh, member organizations should submit a nominate a person for the marketing committee if there's not one. Um, unlike the technical committee or any other committee, the marketing committee actually does spend money. So we're spending your money. So if you want to vote on how that money is spent, then you need to be on the marketing committee. All right, so join the committee, join the task group. Um, you know, at the end of the day, we need to promote this five and grow the community and ecosystem if we're all going to be successful. So some details, um, just to make sure people know if you're not aware, that is a mailing list. If you email that list, uh, it will go to all the members of the marketing committee. So anybody can email that, that list right, with ideas or whatever else that you may want. If you want to be on that list, um, you need to be a foundation member. Uh, send an email to Rick or Sue, and they can add you to that list. Right, so anybody can send. You want to see? You should marketing committee. Um, Rick or Sue can put you added up. Um, we also have a Slack group. Uh, this is kind of a, a way to easily chat and, and bounce ideas off of each other. This is limited to the foundation member companies only. Uh, but if you are a member, or if you work for a company that's a foundation member, or uh, you're an individual member, um, then you know. Please feel free to join the Slack group. It's kind of an easy way to have quick ideas uh, back and forth. Um, and finally, we do have bi-weekly calls. Um, they're on Wednesday, 9 a.m. California time. I just put two other time zones on there, so it's easier for people to convert. Um, the next one is uh, the next Wednesday, uh, next week. Right. So that's it for the updates. Any questions for Jack? For the next workshop, how big a uh, audience are you targeting? That's good. Um, or can you accommodate? I, so I, I actually don't know how big the size of visual can accommodate. Uh, I would personally <coughs> just close what, what, what I was wondering. Um, what's your vision? I don't think I need a microphone. You don't need a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can accommodate quite a lot, I think. Rick's target for you know legal and clearing you know the list is four hundred people. Yeah, uh, we can probably accommodate more. I think it'd be close to fifty. The key, the key thing for us is to close the registration two weeks before the event so that we have like a bulk of bulk of the names available. So I think you know the workshops have been growing. Um, every workshop has been growing. Um, the last one that was in the Bay Area was you know, three. Close to 400? 350. 350. So I would easily expect it should be more than, more than that. 5, 600, that's my guess. Yeah, hi, I'm Dave Vitz, Los Blanco. Just comment on getting people to the workshop. You seem to want to get that to happen. I had some real strong feedback for what you need to do. Tell people what the agenda is before we have to be here. I was on a plane for China before the agenda got posted. So you need to move up the ability to get posted what the agenda is going to be if you want people to come much before, move it up by a month if you want people to decide whether they're going to come, whether they're going to book overseas tickets. It's a really big deal, right? Uh, second, uh, in terms of the papers that are posted, I have no, no visibility as a member how these papers get reviewed or how the picking is done or who's on the committee. Okay? A little bit more visibility would be helpful, and, and then we can also participate in encouraging getting other kinds of papers, papers in. Okay? So these are things you guys can do to help get more attendance. I uh, guess if you want to talk a little bit about papers, so that's actually handled by the technical team. Yeah, uh, thanks, for the, thanks for the feedback. Uh, so we're trying to do it more like a conference style where we um, set up a program committee and um, put that online and, um, and actually let the program committee go solicit more of five work and things like that. Right. Yeah, and um, apologize for uh, you know, posting your agenda late this time. It was a bit of a scrambling at the last minute, but um, hopefully the next one you know, 
we're going to write things down and it's going to when you're going to have your agenda posted so we know what date when we have to wait for it sure sounds good yeah so um, we're going to document the, the process uh, for the next pc chair um, and so that it's it's going to go much smoother next time